Hey, why don't you create a little food rivalry this Sunday with Signature Eats from both Kansas City and Tampa Bay. Uh, Lifestyle contributor and my friend Michelle Lee has everything you need to get started. May the best dish win. Take a look. Yes, Michelle Lee, the countdown to the big game is on. Cheers. Of Cheers. course, I know you've got a great spread. So one of my favorite things to serve at a party is just a giant spread of nachos. So I actually did it on this big board, but you could do it just, it's on a football field, a paper football field. You could put it straight on the field. And I did it with pulled pork from Kansas City pulled pork. I have the easiest pulled pork recipe. You just put a pork shoulder in a crock pot. You can put a little rub on it if you want. You don't even have to. Chicken stock, but the secret ingredient is this. You know what this is? It's what? smoked pork pops. You see, find it like right next to the ham, like these things. You put that right on top and it makes the whole pork shoulder taste so smoky like you barbecued it out on the smoker. Yum! So I love that easy. tip. And then when you serve it, you just pull it out, pull the pork out, and then you shred it. So I have the shredded pork already done. It is so good. I did it um, in the crock pot last night, so it's ready for today. You just Sprinkle this all over your nachos. If you remember, Christine, we've been to a, a, a food truck in Seaside that does these yep. pork nachos. That's where I got the idea. And then, and then you, and then you drizzle it with warm queso. So uh, all over the top of the nachos. And notice some of the nachos don't have the pulled pork. So you can just kind of choose what you want. And then last, a sweet barbecue sauce that we're just drizzling. I like a sweet one because it's kind of like sweet and savory together. Yes. You just drizzle this all over the top of the nachos and you have a nice Kansas City pulled pork nachos. All right, now we're going to some famous food from the Tampa Bay area and um, you're making two things that I absolutely love. The first one is the Tampa Cuban. So here's what the Cuban looks like. It's actually pretty simple. You start with mustard and you put mustard on your bread, then Swiss cheese, then pickles, then pulled pork. Guess what? We're using the same pork that we used. Oh, the great. Pot. We're double dipping. And then <laughs> ham, you can use deli ham or you can use, um, I actually baked the ham, but you can use either. Then a little more Swiss cheese because Swiss cheese is the glue that holds the Cuban together. That's more right. More mustard. And then you put this on top before, and then I actually do my Cubans and then I then put a little butter on the top. That's, That's correct. Michelle, you're absolutely right. You press that thing. Nice and, and then tight. I put mine in the panini press. You don't have to have a panini press. You can press it on your stove. And you press this thing as tight as you can press it. Perfect. All right, now let's talk about what you've got to go with it. A, a very famous salad that's my favorite. The very famous salad, the 1905 salad. It's actually a very easy salad to make, but it is amazing. So it has Swiss cheese and then olives and ham, the same ham that you used on the Cuban tomatoes so you toss that up and here's their little secret that a lot of people don't know you, they before they serve it they dash it with um worcestershire sauce and a lemon so you squeeze that lemon on and then the dressing that they use is oregano garlic it is so pepper, good olive oil you pull that and that's it just like that, you serve that. So good. Pop it up. Look, doesn't that look amazing? And of course, uh, you are so famous as the best hostess, uh, uh, making sure we have something sweet. So what do you have there? It looks beautiful. I just have a very simple dessert. It's a dessert board, and it's made with homemade dolce de leche, which is so simple. You take a can of sweetened condensed milk, put it in a pot of slow simmering water, 
for about three hours and it makes this amazing homemade dolce de leche. You put oh, that in the middle yeah. and then you dip your fruit, your chocolate, your pretzels, vanilla wafers in the dip. Just leave it out. It could be served hot or cold. Hey, Michelle, you know what? It looks like a winner. And that is why I know I'm biased, but right. come on, B-U-C-C-A-N-E-E-R-S, go Bucks. This is so great. Where can we go to get all of these recipes? On, you can get them from champagneandsprinkles.com or we're going to put them on the Atlanta Company website. Oh, she is so, so good. Thank you, Michelle. I love it.